channel my Maria I'm Maria and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you I'm excited that I actually am uh, recording this today um, the last couple of weeks have been very busy it was my birthday Mother's Day and then my son's graduation and I just haven't had any time we had a party for him so I haven't had any time to to barely go to the Dollar Trees or to um, sit down and film but today I'm doing it it's not huge and it's just some random things. Uh, my Dollar Tree is now getting um, shipments on a different day. And so I'm a little off in the game on um, when they will be stocking. I did talk to someone yesterday at the store, my store in Troy, Missouri. They said that um, they didn't have anybody to stock over the weekend. So new things probably won't be out until Monday or Tuesday of this week. So... That being said, if you're um, a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. It really, really helps my channel. I'm happy to have you here watching these videos. If you're not and you come across this video and you like my voice, then um, consider subscribing and stick around and see what I purchase at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so let's just start with a random bag because today is going to be random. Um... I found the two pack pillowcases at my store. Um, these have been showcased um, in other people's videos and for a couple weeks now, uh, but my store just snagged them up. So I just found those. I got blue and then these are um, 20 by 30 inches. And these are like a burnt orange color. Sorry about the lighting today. I don't have my ring light on. Um, this one is green. They're all the same um, size, 20 by 30 inches. And they're by Luxury Home. And there's the barcode. I know people have asked about barcodes and stuff before. And um, so that's just something that I think maybe you might want a barcode on. And then they had white. And I picked those up. So excited for those because usually it's one pillowcase at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, but I got two this time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, oh, I found this Tingly Ted's Hot Sauce. Tingly Ted's Hot Sauce. It is a 9.34 ounce. So it's a pretty good size. It's not huge, but it's a nice size. And um, it's mixed by Ed and Ted Tingly Sauce. I don't have my glasses right now with me, so um, I won't be able to read ingredients to you. Uh, but it does say on the back that it's vegan, refrigerate after opening, shake to wake Ted, and no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So, and then there is like this little thing right there if you wanna check them out. This is name brand, Tingly Ted's. We're pretty big on hot sauce and stuff, so um, I picked that up. Um, then my husband needed a safety pin for his cousin's graduation. He had to wear a suit and um, his button popped. And so I didn't have any, but lo and behold, at the Dollar Tree, they have a pack of 100 count safety pins. So now, Anybody needing a safety pin? They're at my house now. I don't have to uh, tell anybody no. <laughs> so there's just some things that my mom always had. My mom always had safety pins, but I've never kept safety pins in my house. So I guess it's about time for me to start doing that. Um, I love the B Pure Super Pads, the organic cotton um, pads. I use these when I am having my menstrual cycle. Um, these are an eight count and it is, oh, super pads. That's a super one. Uh, they do have extra long overnight ones. Um, those are great too, but I love the hundred percent cotton. So if you haven't used them for a dollar 25, they get the job done. I've not had a problem with them and I don't have to spend $8 on something I don't want to buy. Um, the next thing I did buy was this Body Ecology Nourishing Hand Soap. It's so glittery. It's so beautiful and it smells good. Um, I usually smell it be 
before I walk out of the store. It smells like perfume, but it smells good. And I just got that up my nose. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, it is Pink Vanilla Wish is what it's called. And it is 10 fluid ounces. I'm doing pretty good without my glasses today. Um, so, yes. Beautiful soap at the Dollar Tree. And it smells good. Okay, dokie. Oh, I got another hot sauce to show you. This one's Texas peat hot sauce, and this one's sautéed garlic. So I picked that up. I'm pretty sure we've had Texas peat before. Um, we have not had Tingly Ted's, but um, if you need to check them out and you've never heard of them before. I know some areas have certain things that people have never, ever um, had before. So I just think that was a good idea to... Um, I'll show you the little barcode. You could look it up online or whatever. Um, this is Forma Incorporated Black Ink Five Ballpoint Pens. I love pens. I love the way pens write. Um, so I'm excited to try these out and see how well they work. But they do have the Comfort Grip right here, as you can see, and it lets you touch it and feel it, and it's good. And it says black ink, long-lasting ink supply, and a comfort grip. Five ballpoint pens. So, the I mean, they were stocked, but there was like three left. So, they were going fast. People love pens. Especially, my dad loves pens. Men love pens. So, anything for um, Father's Day is coming up. So, that would be something to pick up. Uh, at the checkout register, I found, um, let's see. Oh, I have another bag. It is not, oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, all right, here it is. Um, I found these at the checkout, so we'll do the lighters first. Um, Crocs Handy Lighters, and then I also found the Crocs Jet Flame, and the flame is green and the flame is yellow, and then they have blue and red also, but they didn't have it at my store. I only found these two colors. They were all picked over already. So I grabbed those. Name brand lighters at the Dollar Tree. Um, let's see what the yellow one looks like. I already um, gave one to my son and I believe his flame turned green. That's a really yellow color. I'm going to do the green one too. Why not? Because yellow is yellow and, you know, it's a yellow flame anyway. So I got to show you the green. Uh, you see the green? That's super cool. All right. Anyway, they're at the checkout registers on a little strip. Um, and then that is the other Crocs that I found, name brand lighters. Um, then I found these shoe charms for your Crocs. And they had different ones, um, not just like foodie type things. They had other, I don't remember what it was, animals or something. Um, different, maybe balls for boys or something. I don't know. But I picked up this one and just to show you guys. I don't know. I don't think we have any. My husband might have a pair of Crocs, but he ain't going to put charms on them. But those are at the checkout on the strip also. Um, then I did pick up a couple um, picture frames. Um, I'm working on my den. And I have what I want to do is take drawings and art that my kids have done throughout the years. And yeah, it's probably from when they were younger. Um, but I love them so much because my kids are very artistic and I wanna frame them and put them up in my den. So I'm starting to grab just a couple picture frames to see um, what's gonna fit, how it's gonna look. Um, and I'm kinda black and gold is what I'm kinda envisioning, so. All right, let's see. I'm trying to keep some things separate. Um, in the kitchen uh, aisle, uh, where they have like the spatulas and stuff. I found Prep Solutions 2-in-1 Melon Tool. 
um, people that like watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. Um, it's got the big scraper right there, and then it's got the one to make the little balls. And that is Prep Solution. It's by Progressive is the name of, is the name brand. Progressive Prep Solutions. And then on the back, it tells you how to use it. Pretty explanatory itself, but. All right. What else did I find? Oh, I picked, picked up a black comb for my hair since they come up missing a lot. Um, I did find this Sure Fresh um, silicone ice cube tray in the honeycomb. I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. Um, okay. My husband asked me to pick him up another loofah. So I did find another Eco Tools. Um, ours are not all sold out. I think people are just like not seeing the name brand one. It's in one little bin. Um, so I picked that one up for him. I also picked up the two piece soap saver and I love this. Oh Lord, don't let me sneeze. I love this. Um, these, I love these. Uh, I have two of them already. I have actually um, taken them to um, a house that I clean and um, put those in their uh, in their bathroom for their soap that they have. Um, but it's a PVC soap saver, and I just love it. So if you have these at your store, pick them up. You will like them too. I did find the blue um, men's slides these are 11 12 so i picked those up we have plenty of men around here that might want to slip those on to go out in the yard and then i only have two things left and then i got some snacks or food items to show you but um this is a wizard the magic of fresh white floral um broom spray i i like the smell smells good it smells clean and florally so I like it and then I picked up this for my husband's mushroom village downstairs in his room it is a tree looks like father, kind of father time-ish I don't know anyway it's really cute I picked it up I think he's gonna like it and there's little mushrooms uh, growing on the tree so I, I know he'll like that so I picked that up for him and then the last couple things I'm gonna taste test these I have been trying to get my boys and my husband to do a taste test video and I want them all together I don't just want to do one or two boys I mean I can but it's just not been working out so I'm gonna taste test some of these things for you guys um, however, I am not going to taste test this right now. This is wild caught Alaskan pink salmon. I bought that to take to work with me. Um, the ingredients are very clean. It's wild caught, which is way better than, um, farm raised. So I picked that up and I can't really see it to read it to you right now, but, um, it is Bobby approved. So if you want to know if anything's Bobby approved, um, he's got an app and you can just scan stuff at the store and he looks for the cleanest ingredients anywhere. And yes, he does go into the Dollar Tree and, you know, check things out. Um, I picked this up for my daughter. Um, she is on her own. She's 20. And there are just a few things that um, she needs to take with her to work or to make something for one person like really fast. So... This is Just Heat and Eat Casa Verde. Um, the, this is plant-based, 100% natural, plant-based, no preservatives. Um, I do not recommend plant-based. I am mostly carnivore and um, a little bit of mess up with chocolate and, you know, maybe a couple pieces of candy here and there, maybe some cake. Some I'm trying to be 100% carnivore because I want to heal some things in my gut. Um, but every once in a while, I partake. So, um, this is just heat and eat. This is a 8.8 .8 ounce. It's medium heat. It shows you right there. Um, the ingredients are probably not great, but she's 20. 
Um, she is, I'm sure she puts worse things into her body right now. So, um, 330 calories, uh, one pouch is one serving. So if you like that kind of stuff, oh, this one is Garbanzo El Pastor. It's meaty garbanzos seasoned with grilled pineapple bites and flavorful Mexican chilies. That's the one I picked up with her for her. She likes pineapples, grilled pineapples. All right. Um, one of my videos. Did I tell you about Marvin's mother who likes to eat hot pickles with peppermints? Um, I went and bought some hot pickles and I, I just picked up peppermints. So I think I had that on my last video, but I'm not sure. All right. There are um, four different things that I found. Super sour. Then Sweet, Sour Patch Kids Extremes. I don't know if I've ever bought these before, but they're extra sour. So we're going to try that. Then there are Watermelon Mike and Ikes. We're going to try that. And then there are Jet Puffed Gummy Marshmallows. So we're going to try that. And then there are Sunkissed Tropical Fruit Gummies. Um, our first real fruit ingredients. And that's just marketing it is um yeah not good for you but it is a sweet treat if you want one um just marketing just marketing because it's got other stuff in it too okay so we'll try these first the sun kissed fruit all right um does it say flavors on here what that is might look like a pear maybe Yep, see, high, oh, it says no high fructose corn syrup. Um, 100% vitamin C, high in antioxidants, peanut and fat free. Mm. I wish I could read the ingredients because I know there's going to be something in here. Apple puree. Um, includes 18 added sugars, so yeah. There you go. Mmm. does taste good, though. Those are good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Those are really good. Besides the 18 added sugar, they taste good. I like it. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Now we're doing the... Gummy Jet Puff Marshmallows. I'm having a really hard time chewing. My teeth are not aligned with the Invisalign right now, so. I don't want to choke. Mm. It literally tastes like a marshmallow out of the Lucky Charms box, but the texture is not the same. It's a gummy, but the flavor is there. They're okay. They are okay. All right, let's see how super sour. I don't like sour things, so if it's super sour, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like it. Oh my. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to spit this out in front of you guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry it's taken so long, but it like is not melting. It's not, it's, it's, um, it's not hard. It's soft. It's just not like dissolving. Ah, okay. It's gone. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not going to put another one in my mouth. Mm, that's sour. Real sour. Um, it reminds me of them gumballs that you put in your mouth that are real sour. Like, mmm. Okay. Mmm. No. 
My husband or my kids will love those. But I will not be eating those. Um, and then the last one I'm going to try is the Mike and Ike watermelons. All right. That's real. Real, real watermelon. And that's real sour. Does it say sour? Oh, sour watermelon. Mm. Oh, man. Yes, that's sour too. All right, well, thank you for being here with me. And I will see you guys in the next video.